lane, the Storm, let's... I mean, he doesn't have to be worried about anything in bottom lane. They get the raw on burning. OB got, gonna get caught out here. Oh, RTK cancelled his TP. He's gonna ravage available. He's gonna throw it up. Now Sue Mel actually goes into this one. He's gonna... Oh, he gets the ball lightning off. Does go down here. They've still got a Doom. They're gonna look for Sue with this one. Double Necrobook chasing burning. Nice hoof stop is there. The ball lightning past Sue Mel. Gets the kill on Medusa. The Doom goes out onto Fear. They've got nothing for Sue Mel. Echo Slam from PPD. Three big on here is dead. It's about to be a fourth. RTK's trying to catch up to Fear. But 4 nil. EG. When a big team fight here, the Doom still ticking away will not be enough to kill off Fear. And that was, well, that's what we waited 28 minutes for. You know, that that was one of the moments, like, it's we saw, oh no, oh. Doom. The Sumail is just dominating. Double kill. Mega kill now. He's looking for a third even. He's got no Aegis here. He's going to be a bit careful. Does not get the dodge on the magic missile. Burning going to go for a stone. Oh, no. He's Sumail. Adamata does not get the ball like to the high ground. Insta-suicide. Will oh, respawn very no. quickly. That was close. He was going to give away a love goal if he died. Yeah. So, not exactly a big loss for EG. The yeah. fact he uses the Bloodstone Suicide opens up bottom lane. There's no ultimate available for Medusa. Glyph comes out and EG, Fear going to decide this is maybe not the push to go for here. They've got double Necrobook 3s with both Beastmaster and Lycan having this, which makes it a bit more difficult for Medusa to fight, not to mention just the C. Just probably try and make space with the storm and he's gonna oh. jump in with the doom here on it's a, Aoi, a support it's gonna get the bottom kill lane. here look at bottom lane eg oh my gosh they're gonna look to try take high ground here ppd cancel some tps oh not gonna happen right off the bat burning actually not able to tp himself here universe is just creating space the stone gaze comes up and meanwhile bottom oh, lane the storm no. gets a kill and now the tier three tower glyph is gonna delay it's going down, but they've got nothing to defend it. In goes ROTK, holding onto the Ravage for now. He needs to use it soon. The BKB from Fierce Beat deploy. He'll bring down your Tide. Tide with a buyback, and I think he's going to have to use it. The melee Rax has been claimed as EG continue to just set up camp in the big god base here as they take both lanes, well, both bottom racks, and is, well, they're looking to work on top lane as well. This is a huge, I mean, this is more or less over already for Big God. They're gonna no lose. Doom, no Stone Gaze. That's Ravage. But where do you Ravage? There's push mid, there's push top, you've already lost bottom lane, Storm gets another Look kill, Sumail sells an Aegis, he gets two more! Both supports are dead, and this is looking like Big God just being torn apart, manhandled by the EG polished killing I, machine. I would like to say kit handled Sumail. Just perfect destroy, play. Destroying Absolutely them. perfect play. This has got to be the most well-executed strategy of the tournament in some ways, I feel. This is just polished Dota from EG. Oh my god, this is just... This is as good as uh, the other day I was... Uh, I, I clapped during one of the games where... I can't remember which game, like somebody actually executed the game so well. I mean, this is another game where it's just perfect from EG. They did everything... Like... Everything in the books was right. I, I could hardly feel there was anything that I could say that they could have done better. Maybe they could have gotten the Orchid instead of the Bloodstone on the Storm. But at the same time, I could understand why he was actually prioritizing getting the Bloodstone because they knew they couldn't end the game quick and they wanted to get into the temple where they are 